Yo, in this video, I see if I can get this nine-year-old MacBook Pro to stream on Twitch in a setup that cost me less than $500. Let's get ba 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 -rudal. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Fortitron, and today we are getting this MacBook Pro from 2012 to stream on Twitch. So a lot of people have been asking me this question if they can use older Macs for streaming. So today, I wanted to put this question to the test and see if I can pull it off. So make sure you stay to the end of the video and find out if you could stream with a Mac that's almost 10 years old. Damn! This is a base model 13 inch MacBook Pro with a dual core processor and four gigabytes of RAM. What? And you could find these on eBay for like 200 bucks. Let's see if this one even turns on. What's great about these old Macs is that they're super easy to upgrade. I picked up this 240 gig SSD for $30 and this 16 gigabyte RAM kit for only $60. Nice. All right, before we get these upgrades installed, here are the accessories that I'll be using with this Mac in this setup. Since this Mac only has two USB ports, my options are limited. I'm gonna be using the built-in FaceTime camera, which sucks but it should be perfect enough for when you're just starting out streaming. I also got the $50 no-name Amazon capture card that I know will work with any Mac because it has UVC support. And it's also USB 3.0. That means it's completely plug and play and it requires no drivers. And at $50, you can't go wrong, especially with these older Macs. And I'll also be using this $60 Fifine USB microphone that has a headphone out port and my tried and true Corsair HS50 Pros that are only $40 right now. All right, enough talk. Let's get to upgrading this Mac. All right, so I need two different screwdrivers. You just need a simple Phillips head and a Torx 6 screwdriver. You can get both of these cheap on Amazon in a kit. Okay, so before we get started, let's touch a piece of metal here so we keep grounded. We're gonna use the Phillips head screwdriver to remove all of these bottom key screws. Try to keep all these in order so it's really easy when we put this thing all back together again. So now that we got this thing open, the very first thing that you should do is unplug the battery from the logic board. So you just use your fingernail and just unplug that, but don't forget to plug that back in once we're all done. All right, so I'm gonna be using the Phillips head screwdriver to take off this little hard drive bracket. This just holds the hard drive into this little cradle here. And then now we can unplug this ancient mechanical hard drive. Let's get rid of that. And I'm pointing to the four Torx 6 screws that are in the sides of the hard drive. So we're gonna take those out real quick so we can put those into the new SSD. All right, so I'm using my Torx 6 driver to put all these screws in the sides. It's necessary to put these in because that's how the hard drive sits back in the cradle. You probably could janky it up with a flathead screwdriver, but I strongly recommend you use an actual Torx 6 T6 screw bit. All right, so now we're seating that baby back in there and we're gonna put that bracket right back on. Now we're ready to remove this old RAM. So it's really easy, you just use your fingernails and there's two little plastic tabbies on the sides of the RAM and then you just stretch those out and then the RAM just pops right out. So let's remove both of those sticks. And now we're ready to put in our new 16 gig kit. Super easy, just snap those in. And boom, you're done. So don't forget to plug that battery cable back in and let's put that bottom case back on. All right, we got all the components installed. Let's see if it turns on. All updated and I've got the latest version of OBS Studio installed. Let's get everything plugged in and finally see if this thing can actually stream on Twitch.
Okay, so the reason why I wanted a USB microphone that had a headphone port is so I can route all the audio through that microphone. So here in my audio settings, I have it set to that USB microphone. And obviously with a Mac of this age, 1080p, 60 frames per second streaming is out of the question. So we've got it set to 720p here and also at 60 frames per second. And because the processor is older than this computer, we're gonna change it to the Apple hardware encoder. And I'm gonna go wild and set my bitrate to about 9,000. It's over 9,000! All right, so cross your fingers and let's hope this thing could actually stream. Let's go. Yo, so this looks like it's working. This is totally working right now. Streaming on a 10 year old Mac. Dude, I can't believe this is working right now. This is hilarious. Yo, so that was a lot of fun, but I wanna take a moment here to thank Jordan for this super nice comment that he left in my comment section. These are the reasons why I make content on YouTube is for you guys. You guys are the best.